Hello YouTube, this is Dawson Ryder today with a review of Koretsu O from Engine Sentai Goanger. Um, it's the fourth mecha introduced, made up of the ancient dino engines. Um, they're all three prim primarily piloted by Sosuke Go on Red. Um, I believe the American version is going to be called Paleo Max, I think, I'm not sure. Um, normally this mech only comes with the uh, engine sole of uh, Kisa Mammoth, but uh, I'm going to review the other two with it. If it makes sense, but you'll also see in my Konkan bar review. Alright, so let's get started with T Line, the uh, Tyrannosaurus uh, train car. He looks pretty nice, I really like the way he looks. As you can see here, you see these little, supposed to be windows with some nice details, 11 symbol. The other side, this mouth here, you can, obviously it's part of the features of the transformation, but you can open it any way you want. Um, and here is his. Sorry about that. Um, here is his engine sole. It comes with Kong Kong bar. In order to put it in, pull these two, two tabs in, lift it up, put the engine sole in. I think that's one. There we go. Alright, now in order to make his noises, first there's a button on the top. And then there's another one on the bottom. I think that's about it. I'm not sure if there's more noises. I think maybe it's more Kong Kong bar. And here is a uh, key line. It's very nice again with the windows. There he is. Face detail. Very nice. I also like the way he looks. Kind of in a light metallic blue finish. Like the other one, you can open his mouth various ways if you want to display him. Very nice. Alright. Now here's his engine. Oh, oops. Excuse me again. Same, Same concept. Lift that up. And then his buttons once again also on top. And on the bottom as well. And obviously it works well with the Kong Kong bar. Here's the biggest of all, Kiss a Mammoth. He looks really cool, I really like him. He's really big and cumbersome. Very nice, nice symbol there. Um, the train tracks kind of can move, moves on wheels. As you can see, it was moving unison, which is nice. It's in front of him on his Horn supposed to be in his horn. His tusk is supposed to be out. There you go. Again. The other side of him. Okay, and you can move his tusk, which is a feature of transformation again, but you can move him. Alright, now I'm going to put his engine sole in. You gotta lift him over. Then you see these here. Whoops. Okay, um, pull that up. And then put here's his engine sole. It comes with the mech. Put it in here, facing down. And then, all right, let's activate the sound. All right, so now here, as you can see, under his tusk, there are two buttons that make two different noises. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And then his gimmick is, see this thing here? It'll push both of them at the same time. Whoops, sorry, I messed that up here. Let's do it again. Alright, and that is his gimmick. Alright, now obviously they can all connect like a train. Um, so right here on the back, just pull this tab down, and they'll pull down a little connector. And then take t -line, and you open his mouth. Inside his mouth, you'll see that there's a little tab. Close his mouth up, and it'll connect right to it. And then the same thing, Kilain, his mouth, and there's a, oops, there's a little connector right there. And then you're gonna have to pull out on the back of uh, Kilain his hole, just right underneath. Hold on, this is gonna take a second. Let me put him in a position. So that there we go. Sorry about that. And there you can see they make a big train. It's all very nice. Alright, now let's get on to mecha formation. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is take key line and key line and fold them back, the little parts back into each other. Take it back in his mouth. Don't want him falling off. Alright, now to transform them, all you do is open the mouth and pull this back. So it stands on its own. Same thing with him. 
open his mouth, so it folds back and it'll stand on its own. Alright, now those are done. Let me go out of the way for a second. Now, it's a little more complicated. First, let's do this piece. These little thrusters or whatever these are supposed to be. Sorry, my camera shut off. Alright, here's the little thruster things. Now, this you're just going to fold it back, and it's going to seem like, at least on this one, that it doesn't want to pull back, but it will. You're not going to break it. And that'll make the, um, the hip joint. And so, then you put it on here. As I'll show you in a minute, I'll get a better angle. Alright, now first thing you want to do, is you pull these side wheels off. I apologize for all the engine cell noises. Now what you're going to want to do is fold this in here. And then fold this up. Close it. Set that on the side. Do the same thing. Fold that symbol in. And fold it up. Now I'll set those aside again. Alright, now as you can see, this already separated and it's largely held together by the hands. Now take this piece and separate it. And then I always fold out the head so I know which direction I'm folding now. Now here you can see that there's two little tabs here. All you have to do now is find that there's two little things here and then just connect them. And line them up. I kind of fit like a puzzle piece. And then here you're just going to want to connect it again. There we go. Now, let me um, set up a better camera angle for the rest. Alright, here we are. Alright, so you want to take the waist piece and just attach it right underneath the Kretsuo and it should snap right on. There we go. And then, just put the legs in. Real simple. Pull this tusk up. Get the other one, pull his legs up. There we go. And then take his head and fold the... Well, I'll show you that in a second, actually. Um, here you see the arms. You see the holes on the side. Just stick the arms on. Ah, there we go. Give me a hard time. They both give me a hard time. There we go. And then I'll just take his head and fold it out like that. And there you have Koretsu O. Those sounds just won't stop going off, will they? Um, it looks very nice. Um, I like it a lot. It's big and bulky. Um, not a lot of articulation. Basically, the only thing that can happen is arms can go around like that. Um, otherwise, I'm a big fan of Dino Mecha, so I really liked it. Um, the sounds are probably only for Go Under again with the engine souls, but they might use the animal sounds in an RPM, I'm not sure. Because they didn't give these guys voice actors their ancient engines. Basically just a way to get more engines in there, but I'm not too disappointed. Um, overall, he's just pretty nice looking. Um, I like the look of him. Alright, now let me uh, set up for engine OG-12.